I was sitting in my new chair, in my new office, at my new job as a private detective. They say it's a dangerous profession to get into. And at first I didn't believe them, but now I do. I could smell her perfume before I could hear her. So by the time she knocked on the door, it was already a familiar scent. Are you Dick Shepard? She shivered in the cold, but removed her coat anyway. I could see why. Her dark dress could make any man lose his mind. I just need to remember what my pop always said. Never trust a dame. I need help. I'm, I'm so scared. As she talked, she wrung her gloves in her hand, her wedding ring glistening in the light. I've seen this play before. This wasn't her first time. Then I looked at her eyes. Maybe it was. Seems to be frightening you, ma'am. Oh, please, call me Scarlet. Scarlet. A perfect name for her. Well, Miss Scarlet, what could possibly be frightening you? It's my husband. I, I think he's trying to kill me. I've heard stories about cases like this. They say it's important to get both sides of the story. Never trust the dame, they say. But I could tell she needed my help. What are you doing? This sounds serious. I, uh, I think we need a drink. She was worried I was going to leave her. But I got her coat like a real gentleman. Mom would be proud. It was easy to talk to Scarlet. She really had a lot to get off her chest. Scarlet, the poor girl. She says her husband is planning on killing her. She says she has proof. But I don't need to see it to know she's telling the truth. I told her I would talk to her husband for her. She gave me her number on a napkin. Said I'd call as soon as I knew it was safe. I think this case will require my full attention. So I followed her husband around. He hangs out at this bar called Leland's. Let's just say he gets rough there sometimes. Now 
I have no problem believing a man like this could hurt his wife. And there's only one way to deal with a man like that. I got here sooner than I thought. I was nervous. I hope I can still catch him. No, I left the revolver at my office. How could I forget it? She must have distracted me. Well, it's like my pop always said, never trust a dame. I guess I gotta do this the hard way. She played me, made me kill her husband so she could have his fortune. But I look up, and I see her red lipstick turn up into a smile. She's won. Pa was right. Never trust a dame. <laughs>